Okay, here's a question for you. Why ride on two wheels when you only need one? Our Cameron Justice is at the National Unicycle Championships in Newbury Heights today. Hey, Cameron. It's so much fun here, Homa. It's picking up. The morning is early. They're setting up for races. And here with us again is Kirsten. And she has, as you can see, a very large unicycle. I don't think I've ever seen a unicycle this big. Tell me about what we were looking at. So this is the typically the biggest race unicycle size you'll see. Um, people will learn on a 20 inch wheel, which is more typical of a unicycle size. Um, for mountain unicycling, you might use a 24 to 29 inch, but the 36 is really reserved mostly for road racing, distance racing, sometimes some mountain unicycling if the course will allow for it. So different unicycles, different reasons to use the unicycle. Exactly. So many of us have multiple unicycles. Many of us have multiple unicycles in our cars right now. Are you included in that? Yes, I have a 32 inch in my car as well. <laughs> What is this handle? This is this is a handle and it doesn't help you steer, but it just helps you feel more comfortable when you're riding long distances. Yesterday I rode the marathon and this really helped relax my shoulders so that I could be more comfortable for two hours on the unicycle. So I know that there's races and there's different kinds of courses going on. I'm really curious of how you get on this and how you start. Right, right. So this, this particularly, because I'm kind of a short person, it is a run and jump. Many taller people can just step onto the unicycle this size, but I have to run and jump and time my feet. <laughs> it seems like it's a challenge. What's the hardest part about picking this up? Um, just learning to ride. It's like a bike. Um, I tell people that once you've learned to ride, you really don't forget. You might not ride for a few years, but you come back to it and your body remembers how to do it. Well, you know how to do it. You're the, you're the expert here. <laughs> can you show me how to go about this? Yes, I can. Yes. So I line up the pedals how I like, and then I'm going to take about one revolution forward, and then I'm going to jump on. Let's see it. Incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at her go. Whoa. Yeah. Nice tight turns. That's what this race is all about is the tight turns. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can barely ride a bicycle and here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun and people will change as well the length of this crank and that will change their like drive shaft. So longer cranks are better for going uphill, shorter cranks are better for flat and straight. We'll see more of that this morning here as these races continue. So much fun to be had. <laughs> Unicycles everywhere, guys. Oh my goodness, we could watch that forever. The way she so smoothly jumped on, when she said run and jump, I really wanted to see what that looked like. Uh, and she did not disappoint because that was amazing. Look at them go.